Once upon a time, in a kingdom far far away, there lived a king, who was always curious about the glitters in the night sky. Often he'd ponder about the twinkling little stars, and ask himself, who is lighting them up? He asked his ministers, advisors, and scholars from near and far away kingdoms, but none had any answers. But that didn't dampen the king's mood, for he knew, that even if the answer lay hidden, there was something that connected them, the king and the stars. And that bond, he knew, was eternal. About 13.8 billion years ago, the universe began, with a massive explosion. With it, began a journey, a journey that would create stars, planets, black holes, quasars, and everything that fills the vastness of the cosmos. Long before humans appeared, the ingredients that make us, had already started to boil in the pot of life. We are the stars, we are the cosmos, we are, the product of the Big Bang. As a curious species, we have always wanted to know the whys, the hows, and the whats. As such, the curiosity about the birth of our universe has always been, at the top of our list of questions. There is a beautiful line, in Neil deGrasse Tyson's Cosmos series, where he states, that humans are the universe, looking back at itself. We are, indeed, the universe, trying to understand itself. But in the quest to understanding the universe and finding other intelligent life, the road ahead has always been hazy. But now, things are changing like never before, as the James Webb Space Telescope is unfolding the universe. Welcome to you curious? Discover more, know more. 40 trillion kilometers away from the solar system, in the constellation of Centaurus, lies a small star system, called the Proxima Centauri, where life as we know it, might be thriving. Proxima Centauri is 500 times dimmer compared to our sun, and hence not visible to the naked eye. But, the star system is very significant to us in our quest to finding alien life. Discovered in 2016 by the European Space Observatory, Proxima b, one of the three planets of Proxima Centauri star system, orbits its star every 11.2 Earth days. In fact, Proxima b lies in the habitable zone of the star system, which means, it could contain liquid water. But the planet is tidally locked to its star, which means, one side of the planet lies in a state of perpetual darkness, while the other side is bright and too hot for life to sustain. How could the planet be habitable then? NASA suggests that heat could be distributed evenly via winds, making the dark side potentially habitable. But heat is not enough. If life were to emerge on that planet to become an intelligent species, they would need light. And to get light on the far side of the planet, the civilization will have to deploy powerful mirrors, or require very bright LED-style lights, to illuminate their world. Now, we have all seen what the James Webb Space Telescope can do. The telescope is so powerful, that apart from giving us some stunning images, it has also detected water on a distant exoplanet. In fact, the analysis of WASP-96b, was so thorough, that Webb could dive deep into the atmosphere makeup, of the exoplanet. WASP-96b, is 1,150 light years away from Earth. With Proxima b being much more closer, it is a gold mine for Webb, waiting to be dug. NASA is going to use the near-infrared instrument on Webb, to look for telltale signs of LED light waves, in the light from the planet by detecting artificial light, if it exists. In 2019, radio signals were detected coming from the direction of Proxima b for five minutes. Since then, it has never been detected. Astronomers now believe that the source of the radio wave was a human anomaly. The good news is that NASA has promised that Webb will soon turn its eyes towards the Proxima system, and finding artificial life will be the biggest discovery humanity will make since discovering fire. Now, we wait with bated breath for Webb to do its job. A brand new chapter in astronomy has begun to open up, and we are lucky to be living in this era. Webb recently captured what would be the fate of the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy in about 7 billion years. Webb peered through dust and gas to reveal star formation in a rare will-shaped galaxy that formed in a long-ago galactic crash. The galaxy, called the Cartwheel, 
for its striking resemblance to a wheel of an old-fashioned carriage, was previously studied by the Hubble Space Telescope, but Webb's infrared gaze has revealed a plethora of previously unseen details in the galaxy's structure. The Cartwheel Galaxy, located about 500 million light-years away in the Sculptor constellation, is a rare sight. Its appearance, much like that of the wheel of a wagon, is the result of an intense event, a high-speed collision between a large spiral galaxy and a smaller galaxy not visible in this image. Collisions of galactic proportions cause a cascade of different, smaller events between the galaxies involved, and the cartwheel is no exception. The collision most notably affected the galaxy's shape and structure. The cartwheel galaxy sports two rings, a bright inner ring, and a surrounding colorful ring. These two rings expand outwards from the center of the collision, like ripples in a pond, after a stone is tossed into it. Because of these distinctive features, astronomers call this a ring galaxy, a structure less common than spiral galaxies, like our Milky Way. The bright core contains a tremendous amount of hot dust, with the brightest areas being the home to gigantic young star clusters. On the other hand, the outer ring, which has expanded for about 440 million years, is dominated by star formation and supernovas. As this ring expands, it plows into surrounding gas and triggers star formation. Other telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope, have previously examined the cartwheel. But the dramatic galaxy has been shrouded in mystery, perhaps literally, given the amount of dust that obscures the view. The galaxy, which was presumably a normal spiral galaxy like the Milky Way before its collision, will continue to transform. While Webb gives us a snapshot of the current state of the cartwheel, it also provides insight into what happened to this galaxy in the past and how it will evolve in the future. With every new image, Webb is increasing our curiosity even more. And this is only the beginning, for it has miles to go before it sleeps, and miles to go before it sleeps. Are you excited about what Webb will find in the Proxima Centauri system? Do you think there is a civilization out there? waiting to be found? Or is the Trappist system our best bet? Unlike the king, we will find answers to our questions. Here's hoping that we are not alone. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments to let us know, and don't forget to subscribe to you curious. Discover more, know more.